Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be showing you guys how I am going to plan for the month of February. And I will be using my Erin Condren Life Planner 7x9 size. So this is something new that I wanted to show you guys. And I wanted to show you guys how I'm using my Life Planner. I've been using it since July of 2020. 2020. <laughs> so, um... You know, I'm kind of still getting the hang of it. Sometimes I forget that I have it, and but I wanna, um, I wanna, you know, be consistent on using it, and so it could keep me motivated to be doing what I do. <laughs> so um, this is the calendar view. I do have the hourly life planner? I don't know if I did mention that. So I'll show you guys what the hourly looks like, just in case you don't know. So this is what the hourly looks like. I'm still getting the hang of it, but we're getting there. <laughs> so February is my favorite month because it is my birthday. As you guys can see here, I already put a birthday sticker. I think I put it since I received my planner. I put the birthday, happy birthday sticker there. I guess I was excited. <laughs> so here it is. And I'm also going to show you guys how I'm using the other pages that come with it you know before that come with like the month the dashboard and all that but before that i want to set up my calendar here using um my stickers these stickers are available in my etsy shop the link will be down below i also make them in a plump paper size seven by nine so the erin condren seven by nine size and the plump paper seven by nine okay so Let's get started with that. I will be setting up the calendar view. I am also going to be planning my content, I guess. If I, I'm going to show you, I, I did a little, um, uh, what's it called? Um, like a little, I don't know, this, this little card. And um, I decided to just put, like, label all the things I'm going to be using this um, life planner for. So here I have the red I'm going to be using for YouTube. The gray is going to be for Instagram. The orange is going to be for Etsy. And the pink is going to be for personal. And for personal, it's just, like, appointments for my kids, for myself and for my husband. Um, anything that has to do, like personal um if my daughter has a soccer game or conferences or just whatever uh, it's gonna be pink okay so that is the plan let's hope i stick to it i i really want to stick to it so i will be using these stickers from planner kate i've had them for quite a little while now and so i wanted to be using them so so i guess let's just get started um, again, I'm using stickers from my sticker shop. So if you guys are interested, the link will be down below. So let's see if they actually fit. This is my very first time trying it in the Life Planner and in Erin Condren. And I absolutely love them. Gosh, I can't believe it. They are so pretty. Okay, so let's try the other side. I think I went ooh, down a little bit, but I like it. I like it. So let's try our washi here again. This is like the very first time trying my stickers on Naren Condren, and they fit perfectly. At least I really like them. I think they they do fit perfect. So. Here it is. Wow, I cannot believe it. That is nice. <laughs> I also have here the day dots. I'll be putting this on and then I'll come back to you guys once I'm done. Here it is. Ready to go. I will be using this. Um, you know what? I'm going to be using the dots here to cover these numbers here and I 
will get one that was left from the monthly kit. So there you go. So that is that. Let me know what you guys think. I absolutely love it. Okay, so now comes the fun part, I guess. So for personal, I really don't have any appointments as of right now. If we were to get appointments, I would just put them down here. Now for um, my YouTube, I do want to kind of have this um, done already so I know when I have to upload. But again, I'm using stickers because the date may change. Because, you know, life happens and you plan for one day, but then things happen completely different to what you planned. So, this video should be going up on Wednesday. So, what should I call this video? February planning? Um, I don't know. I'm just going to go. I'm just going to say that. Um, I'm going to say planning. February easy monthly I guess that sounds fun <laughs> so I want to upload that video or this video actually on Wednesday so once it goes up it's I am just gonna check it off okay and then on Thursday I want to um, upload my um monthly budget so it would be february monthly budget let's see if it fits okay we did so i want to see if it goes up on Wednesday or Thursday Thursday okay so my 52 week challenge that is supposed to be going up Friday or Saturday and it's going up on Mondays and I don't like that because it kind of throws me off the week so for that is going to be week five I believe yes so I am going to put saving saving challenges week five and that should be going up on Saturdays okay so that's my goal to have that going up on Saturdays now my weekly check-in uh, I am going to be doing like weekly check-in so I usually go from like sunday through saturday and my first weekly check-in should be going up monday no it should be going up on tuesday so i am going to put um weekly check-in week one february I know it's for February, but I just wanted to put February. Okay, so it should be going up on the 9th. Okay. And I guess I'll just put these ones because I know those have to go up every single Saturday. So I know I have a savings week. Savings. Saving challenges. week six so i guess i'll write this and then i'll just come back to you guys once i'm done because it might take a little long okay so here i have week six seven and eight and i am going to be putting those down on saturday those have to be going up every saturday okay so that is that as of right now, that is how far I will go because um, 
I still have to think on the dates of the other <laughs> videos. So that is that. And for my Instagram posts, I don't really know because, again, I am new to Instagram. Believe it or not, I've been with, using Instagram for about two months. And I'm fairly new. I still have to ask my daughter for help. And, um, you know, still, I'm still getting used to getting around. So I'm getting there. So, but if you guys want to go follow me, I usually try to post like sneak peeks of stickers or whenever i upload a video or what you guys want to follow me my instagram will be in the description box down below i'll try to put it in the screen somewhere so you guys can see or see it and go uh, follow me so anyways that is that and i also have this one for etsy now for etsy i usually keep track of my etsy sales on my um budget planner but i just like to you know it doesn't hurt to have it here and over there i'm also going to show you guys how i use the front page over here the page that um you know belongs to february so this page right here i use it for all my youtube videos so you know i didn't use stickers in this page just i just wrote it down um i my goal is to upload 16 videos a month so hopefully that happens and then once i film it i check it off once i edit i check it off and then once it's uploaded i check it off and then i go over here and check it off okay so that is how i use that page right there and then the next page where i have this notes page and the dashboard this is how i'm using it okay so, so i'm using this as an etsy ideas and youtube ideas okay i might change it up and use it for like my meal planning for the month or you know go week by week or you know i that's the idea that came to me after i did this so for next month i might change it up a little bit and switch it to like thinking about the meal planning for the entire month that's another idea um and then we turn to the dashboard and this is how i set it up for this month it's nothing permanent i and for next month i can probably change it as well so if I go to the next month, I can probably, you know, change it completely and use different um, things. So for here, I decided to break it into two. I have four birthdays. I have like news that happened during the month. Like, I don't know, let's say I reached, I don't know, 500 subscribers. That would be some news. I could write it here. And then here I have, uh, I put a, a place to remember something like let's uh, say for example let's say i have to get my car tabs or i have to order my car tabs. i have to order prescription my prescriptions or my medicine or whatever that can go here and since i always have this open well not in this page but i can always turn back into it and we'll try to see if i put something that i need to remember i hope that makes sense <laughs> and then i have this um i didn't know what to do with this uh, bottom part here and i just put a monthly to do like um change bed sheets or you know clean um i don't know windows or something that i need to remember to do on a mon monthly basis i can put it there and then over here i think this is the most important one and the one i like the most because it has my monthly goals and for my monthly goals you know i try to get five four monthly goals every month first goal is I reached 300 subscribers by the end of the month by the end of february i hope to have uh, reached 300 subscribers and then i am also planning on opening a shopify store hopefully that can be done by the end of february it does take a while it does take time and it is um t time consuming especially because i have to learn how to get around it and you know I have to learn the whole thing so i do have to you know kind of take my time and work on that and last but not least i want to reach 100 sales on etsy i kind of forgot to put sales in front of the 100 so i had to put it on the bottom so i do want to reach 100 sales in etsy hopefully that happens and but again those are monthly goals and yeah so that is how i use my life planner pages 
I'll show you guys one more time. This is where I keep track of my YouTube videos. This is my monthly spread using stickers from my Etsy shop. These are from Planner Kate. But, and I think this one came from Erin Condren. But these ones are from um, my shop. Okay, and then um, this is um, Etsy ideas, YouTube ideas. And then the monthly dashboard, this is how I plan to use it. And then, I don't know if um, maybe later I'll show you guys, maybe like in another video I'll show you guys how I um, use the time, the these pages how to i try to stay on task of everything so yeah this is how i like to set up my life planner if you guys like this video please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up subscribe if you haven't done so already and i guess i will see you guys in my next video bye